Hey, what is going on, Karasuno family? My name is Mike, and welcome back to another Karasuno TV episode. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Sunday. Uh, it's going to be the first Sunday of the Attack on Titan live streams, 30 minutes after it airs, of course. Look forward to that later in the day, but we have two great episodes before then, and starting off with Kimono Jihen. Can't wait for this one. Um, the thumbnail this one looked really interesting because it seems like we're finally getting introduced to that last character, uh, the one in the opening off to the side, almost the one with the... Um, I want to say he had like sort of very pointy face like features, you know, kind of like um, maybe elfish. That's kind of, that's probably not true because, you know, we're talking about monsters here, but still. Um, looks like we're getting introduced to him. He was in the thumbnail. Uh, so I'm excited to get into the see where we go, you know, and then, you know, potentially, you know, once we get all our characters established, then we're he going to head into the meat and the meat and bones of the season. You know, that, that, that short blonde haired kid with like the headphones on that we see in the ending, I believe. Um, that's another character that we haven't seen yet as well. Uh, regardless, Kimono has been fantastic so far, right? We're, we are four episodes in now. Um, and I love the dynamic between, you know, our cast of three, you know, main characters here. Akira, Shiki, and Kabane. Kabane, first off, is a great silent protagonist too. A lot of expression in his eyes, a lot of expression in his face. Um, and, she, you know, Shiki, Shiki is that, that stereotypical, the, the very tropey, loud, you know, side character right very loud like you know and obviously it's it's a uh, it's the same voice actor as bought the you know bakugo uh you know nishinoya one of the the I, I can't forget his name or i can't remember his name for the life of me but very loud very ecstatic voice actor but shiki has done a great job of like you know he didn't take you know he wasn't he wasn't that like sundere type you know that was like you know that was like constantly you know unwilling to accept Kabane is what I'm trying to say he has come around pretty quickly right he still has the reservations but he's come around very quickly and I really like how how much of a uh you know how much we can rely on him going forward um and then Akira too very interesting backstory for him um you know he's going to be one of the most interesting characters as we dig deeper but regardless, guys, let's get into episode 5. I'm really excited to see what the content of this one's going to be today. Quick reminders to sub to the YouTube channel. Follow me over on Twitch. Patreon link's in the description. Check that out. Lastly, come join the Discord. Best place for announcements, discussion, and everything in between. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, lastly, again, Attack on Titan Final Season, episode 9. Today's episode is going to be live on Twitch 30 minutes after it airs. So, it airs 3.45 p.m. EST on Crunchyroll. Go watch it there. 30 minutes after it airs, when you after you've watched it by yourself, come join me on Twitch for my live reaction of it. I'm going to be doing the live reaction again so that you guys could all come join in in that little weird period after you watch the episode to when all the reactions go up. You know, there's going to be a little there, there's always that little dead period. I want you guys to come join me on stream and come watch it live with me, full and cut in all its glory, guys. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Let's get into this though. This is going to be Ken Mono Jihan season one episode five. Let's fly, girls. Don't ever open the door at the far, far end of the hallway. Not ever. Oh, maybe? Oh! So this 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 character was there all along. What's Inugami doing? He's like hiding another one of the characters here? Uh-oh. <laughs> he was in the middle of... Inugami knows he disappeared into that room. But what's Inugami doing with this guy? Oh! <laughs> Akira and Shiki don't even know about it. <laughs> this Mihai guy is just making Kabane his servant. <laughs> nearly, he nearly said slave. Oh, vampire, of course. In the beginning, I was in the begin in the intro. I was saying he looked like a. I I, I said uh, he had elf characteristics because of the pointy ears, but there was something that wasn't sitting right with me about that, and that was the fangs that he had. I didn't make the connection that he could have been a vampire. Interesting. That makes sense because of him being a monster. Awesome. <laughs> Inu Inugami. 
I, I like how Shiki immediately immediately goes. This guy's bad news. <laughs> he's just a he's a vampire that got caught up in gaming. <laughs> look look at Shiki fighting for Kabane. That's what I said. He came around so quick. Oh yeah, the van and and, and the, the the strength of a vampire is probably unrivaled, right? <laughs> Don't you see? I'm telling you, Shiki cares. Don't you care what happens with Kamene? He's always so close to saying slave too. Come on. <laughs> I mean, there was a struggle though. There was a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> Just Kabane on his own and his thoughts about what happened. Oh, is he going to try and channel that, that monster power to beat Mihai? Interesting. So Kabane is very aware of, of that power, though. <laughs> Cone just fell out of the tree. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, 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 I saw Kavane go down, and I was like, wait, I was like, like, in my brain, I'm like, wait, why is he hiding? And then I remembered from last episode, uh, Inugami tricked Kone, you know, with the head, with the fake head. And Kavane goes down and zips his head, zips it up to make it look like he doesn't have a head. <laughs> oh, Inuri doesn't need the head anymore. So maybe that, that'll, that'll at least set cone free a little bit oh the yellow haired kid with the with the headphones and the internet didn't even look at cone come on poor cone she's been nothing but obedient hopefully she comes over to the good side now we we we, we love and welcome her over here Ooh. They're dueling. Maybe it's a res maybe it's a it's a respect thing. Again, the OST coming in so heavy here, really great. You could feel the intensity. Oh, the headbutt in the nose. Oh, look at Cone. Is he gonna? He oh, Kavane grabbing her hand. Oh, he left his room. Look at the wrist. Wait, what happened with the wrist? Also, guys, who who's Mihai's voice actor? He's definitely somebody uh, very popular. I've heard this voice thousands of times before. It, it, I, I'm, I'm just terrible with the voice actors' names, though. I, I, I need to get them in my head. Um, but another high-quality member of the, you know, joins the VA cast. <laughs> Mihai gets on the computer and responds to an email right away. <laughs> oh, look at Cone. Kav look at Kavane. What a what a great support. Oh gosh, she's grabbing the hand. Oh, that's amazing. I ship it, guys. I ship it. Really? Wait, what's this crossover between Kits Kitsune and Tanukis? Interesting. So, do the Kitsune normally eat tanuki is that why she can't live with inugami i think that's what she was referencing because right after she talked about pigeons hmm okay <laughs> look at cone cheering in the background that's amazing i really want to see the uh the arm wrestling though between kabane and mihai how did kabane break his wrist insane power Oh, Shiki looks like he's up to something, too. Wait, something with sweating. He, 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 Shiki made himself sweat. Now, I can't remember in the second episode when they went into action, they went into fighting. I think Shiki's powers somehow work around sweating. I believe maybe that has to do with the output of Silk. 
but it seems like he was able to use the silk and, and create like a, you know, an image of himself or, you know, an outside appearance. So he's trying to use some kind of, you know, mimic power. That's pretty cool because you saw all the heaters there making him sweat. Sweat was dripping down his face. <laughs> Mihai's on the, the video chat. <laughs> Mihai's acting like uh, he's, he's tricking the kids into thinking Inugami trusts them. He really just locked them up. Oh, he's invisible. Is that what he did? Is that what he's using his threads for? The Transylvanian vanishing bullet. <laughs> The Transylvania Reaper. So, wow, Mihai's got a lot of experience with tech then. <laughs> He's hitting the wall. <laughs> what is going on? They're working like robots in there. Look at their eyes, too. What's going on here? What's con Somebody's controlling them. Maybe? Uh-oh, he's going to witness what happens to the people that quit. Oh, it's somebody else. It's a third party. She's... Uh, I'm calling it already. She has some sort of charm. The way she just grabbed him here, she's probably going to like do like a, a little kiss or something like that and charm him into continuing to work. Watch. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh! What is going on in the ear? Ow! I was wrong about the charming! I was 100% wrong! Ew, in the ear, my ear! Oh my goodness! Oh! That's so gross! I can't do it! Oh my goodness! Oh, goodness. That is nasty. Oh, chill up my spine. Chill up my spine. So this trio of bugs, I guess, is running the operation behind the scenes. Oh, that's what they do. They just suck... They suck the brains out and they have no... You know, they, they, their, their brains aren't telling them to stop or go... Or, you know, or, or you know the, the workers are continuing to work themselves so hard. And, you know, the brains aren't telling them to go kill themselves. You know, because... You know, that's probably why they were killing themselves the, the prior years, right? Um, the overwork. Oh, I can't get over that, though. Another chill went on my spine. She said brains are so good. Damn, that's pretty dark. They suck out organs and brains. So they're, like, they're basically killing those people. So they're, so they're, they're well, uh, you know, I, I said killing people and they said they're not killing them, of course. But what I meant was they're leaving them in this brain dead state almost as if they were killing them, you know? I mean, say that our, our crew takes them down. What are they going to do? Reinstall brains in their head? No. I mean, these people are brain dead for the rest of their lives. That's terrible. Yep. That's what I said. They can't think, so they can't kill themselves. <laughs> she knew exactly what happened and Akira's passed out outside. Is the ultimate in boring? Don't tell me that Mihai's gonna mess with the situation with his little car here. Yep, I knew it. Look, he's gonna drop the hammer. Watch me. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, Mihai. What are we doing here? Oh wow, and she took, she, she absorbed, or whatever, she grabbed the, the car. She's hiding it. Why? Maybe she wants Shiki all to herself? Maybe she's in charge of security and she'd get in trouble? Oh, poor Shiki. Oh, she's right there with her, her face. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, the noise it's making, I can't look. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so close. Who's electrocuting her, though?
<laughs> it's Mihai. Come on, Mihai. He's playing with our emotions here. You know, he's he's getting cheeky caught, but he's also helping out. Oh, it's also trauma. Something about Shiki's past? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the Karasuno family, that was episode 5 of Kemono Jihen uh, Season 1, or, you know, the first season. Uh, fant another fantastic episode. I'm loving every second of the show. Really, really am. Uh, we get introduced to the new character, Mihai. I do like him a lot already. You know, he is messing with our group a little bit. He's messing with Shiki, but I feel like he has good intentions behind the scene. And, you know, once, you know, Inugami sort of gets out and, you know, puts a puts a, a, a rein on him, you know, pulls him in a little bit, he'll be a vital ally, you know, to the team. Right now, he's sort of just doing what he wants. Obviously, Inugami locked up. Um... But once the, you know, once Inugami gets out, they'll probably uh, you know agree to some kind of condition, some kind of terms, and and things will proceed smoothly from there. But for now, he's messing with Shiki. You know, nearly gets our boy, you know, into a very sticky. Well, he is in a very sticky situation until Mihai ends up helping him out with the the car, electrocuting the bug. You know, the mosquito girl, which again, don't get me started on the bugs, guys. I could not take that this episode. Way too realistic. The chill up my spine that I'm just just thinking about it is getting to me. Um, but really like, you know, uh, our, we're also getting a little dive into Shiki. And the way that Mihai sort of hints at his backstory at the end, I think that we're going to get some more on Shiki next episode. And, and, you know, his past, this past trauma that Mihai hinted at. Um, and I like that we're, we're getting an episode now, or two episodes rather, that... You know, we're continuing the the you know the episodes so far have been pretty standalone. This one's a continuation, right? You know, this 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 uh, uh, situation hasn't been resolved. We're gonna get the resolution probably next episode with a little backstory into Shiki, and I like that. You know, we we finally have a continuous two episodes, so it's a little bit longer of a story. It's getting a little bit more fleshed out. I like that. I like how Cone is becoming more and more part of the team, separating herself from Inari. But we also see a little tease about the boy with the headphones that we see in the opening. So really interesting. I think we've seen almost all of the characters that have been shown so far. You know, things are sort of building itself up, but a really fantastic episode again. Really love all the characters, their interactions again, um, and, you know, the little bits and pieces of information we're getting. And, you know, these dark stories as well, you know, the brain's getting sucked out. This isn't something to take lightly. You know, these all these humans are, are brain dead now. So that's that's something else, you know, if you think about it. Um, but re just really, really glad we're getting we're, we're getting this great adaption so far. And again, the production is great. The soundtrack is so standout. It really hits at all the great moments, and and, and it's what, going to be one of the things that I'm going to take away from this going forward. Uh, is the OST? It's really fantastic. It delivers in the great moments, and it amplifies these moments. Um, one of the standout moments again was when Cone and Kabane were fighting. Nothing too huge in terms of you know animation and you know, uh, duration of the fight, but the soundtrack just, just really made it hit a lot harder. So I'm loving that. And again, the production adaption seems to be going very well so far. I haven't heard any complaints about the adaption. I think that the pace is pretty good. I don't think they're, you know, I haven't heard if they're skipping anything or anything like that, but really just en enjoying the crap out of this so far. And I think it's only going to get better. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, that was it. Before we go, quick reminders to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go follow me over on Twitch. Patreon link in the description. Best way to support me. Lastly, come join the Discord. Best place for an announcements, discussion, and everything in between. Final thing before we go. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode... What is it? Episode 9. Today, on Twitch, going to be airing uh, at 3.45 p.m. EST. On Crunchyroll, rather. 30 minutes after that, I will be going live on, on Twitch, 4.15 p.m. EST, to watch it live on Twitch with you guys. So you guys get 30 minutes to go watch it by yourselves. Then come join me for my live blind reaction. I'm not going to watch it in, until 30 minutes after. We'll watch it live on Twitch in that little block after you watch the show, before the reactions go up on YouTube. You'll get to come watch it with me live, full uncut. It's going to be a great time, guys. Come join up for that stream. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Can't wait to see you in the next one.